What is up, YouTube? I am back for another ride along. Ooh, I'm excited. So the good Sammy's, the good Sammy's is open today at nine o'clock. They opened yesterday. They opened yesterday. Back open for business. The salvos open this Monday, but of course I work Monday to Friday, so I won't get to the salvos until the following weekend for the next ride along. But we're going to the good Sammy's. I've got a fucking uh, good feeling about today. I've got a good feeling. We could get McDonald's. We could get fucking KFC. We could get a little bit of fucking Hungry Jacks as well. We might get all the good stuff. But it is cold. It is so cold. My car nearly didn't start. But let's do this. Let's do it. It's cold. But I'm going to thrift. And we're going to make some money. Let's do it. Ride along, baby. <laughs> Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. I nearly went the wrong fucking way. So it's already 9 o'clock, it's 9.05 in the morning and this opened at 9 o'clock. I spent 40 minutes in the hot shower this morning. 40 minutes! But damn it was a good hot shower, it was a fucking good hot shower, it was a good 40 minutes. I fucking had it full ball hot, there's going to be no hot water left for Kelly. This unfortunately is what has happened, uh, am I to blame? No. It, my body needed this. Let's stop talking shit. Let's go thrifting. Let's go thrifting. We're going to get some good stuff today. Let's fucking, let's roast this thrift store. And let's see what we can get for show and tell. Hopefully there's a show and tell this week. Might not be anything in there. Might be cleaned out already. Because it did open yesterday. So anyway, fucking stop talking. Let's fucking, let's thrift. Let's fucking thrift. Let's fucking go. It's actually a lot of people here already. A lot of cars in the car park. I'm gonna go find that uh, horror clamshell. Let's go fucking thrifting. All right, as you can see, only 15 in an op shop at a time. 15 in an op shop at a time. Lucky I got there at a time when there was uh, just the amount uh, I could get in there, so that was pretty fucking good. So I grabbed myself a little basket and uh, first first little rack, first little rack I filled up me. Uh, Filled up my thing is, there's some videos, the only videos they fucking had, some shit they had there. Um, these, I uh, didn't really care about the books, but uh, they are these footy Tarzos. Check out these footy Tarzos, I'm going to keep them for myself. This is what they used to get in the old packets of chips. You used to get a fucking Tarzo and a packet of chips, so that was two dollars. And, um, well, it ended up being a dollar, uh, but it was meant to be two dollars. And I found, hit the jackpot in this fucking lot here. This folder full of footy cards and they fell out but this folder full of footy cards so I was happy with that I think that was like five bucks and in the end everything was half price because I had 50% off but I explained that at the end found another folder of the same thing these ones were all signature ones these were fucking cool ones uh, I don't think I'm gonna resell these I think I'm gonna keep these ones for myself um, pretty fucking sweet to find all these footy cards then I found another folder of footy cards unbelievable I just couldn't believe my luck and these were had hand signed hand signed Fifey look at this hand signed Fifey and Pav fucking stoked with that so that goes in the fucking basket and then another signature fucking folder full of fucking cards couldn't believe my luck of all these footy cards there is some gems in there I'm gonna make a lot of money and then another folder of footy cards so I hit the jackpot so I fuck off from there and uh, go through all these DVDs, and these were chockers. These were chockers full of the DVDs. Um, so many there. So I'm happy with that. I went through and I got a fair few. Fucking hated this show. Fucking, look at this fucking Super Nanny or whatever it was. Fuck, that was shit. Super Nanny can fuck off. I'm not buying that. And uh, I moved on from there. This little dude's fucking looking at uh, jackets there. Fucking, uh, so I moved on from there. And made my way up to, uh, oh, look at this. Docker's beanie, fucking, it was a hand-knitted one, so I didn't buy it. Went for all that, and it was all crap anyway in there, all the shit. 
Uh, didn't bother with that. Oh, Assassin's Creed, is that uh, worth anything? I didn't grab it because there was only one disc in there, didn't bother. Uh, but this uh, Machinery's Handbook CD-ROM, I did grab that. Um, none have sold, but uh, this looked like a pretty damn good fucking uh, disc. So I was grabbing that for a buck. Ended up being 50 cents with my 50% off. Uh, I had a look through the um, uh, records. There was no Kamal. No Kamal. Um, I'm trying to buy all the Kamal uh, records uh, from all the stores. I'm going to buy all the Kamals and get rid of them all. So there's no Kamals at any stores anymore. Uh, WWE DVD board game. Looked it up on comps. It was only worth 20 bucks. People are selling 20 bucks and free shipping. And they wanted $4 for it. So they can get fucked. Look at all the suitcases. So many suitcases. Um, in this store anyway. So I don't know if you notice heaps of suitcases when you go. But uh, heaps of DVDs. Another fucking full rack of DVDs. So I um, went through all these and... Uh, yeah, I've got a fucking fair few. I'll show you in show and tell. I'm not going to bother showing you now. I'm going to show you all the stuff I didn't get. Didn't get and all the crap stuff. Let's roast this fucking place. Uh, so, uh, books. Look, I'm not into these books. I'm not fucking going through books just to get five bucks uh, per book. Especially when they want two dollars a book. Uh, there's a Wii, uh, Wii Fit in uh, the box. We'll get 60 bucks for that. Thank you very much. Um, and that was only five dollars or two dollars fifty after um, my fifty percent off. So I bypass all the books. I, I, I can't be bothered with that crap. Children's books are the fucking books that you really want to look at, because um, uh, fuck, you can get some good money off uh, the children's books. Uh, these novels and all that, I'm not gonna look them all up because I have no idea. Uh, but other people were successful off it. Wheel of Fortune. I wanted to play that, but it wasn't complete. So I wanted to play it, but. It wasn't complete. That would have been fun to play, that little game. Um, <clears throat> all right. Heaps of electronics there and people getting rid of uh, toasters and all the other fucking crap and alarm clocks. Uh, I, I suppose everyone's uh, donating their alarm clocks because they lost their jobs and they don't want to fucking uh, get up in the morning anymore, so they don't need an alarm clock. So, yeah, you'll see a lot of alarm clocks around. Uh, pub trivia. I did put this in my basket, but I did put it back. It was new and sealed, but it only been selling for $20.00. Um, they wanted four bucks for it, but twenty dollars plus free postage. People have been doing so. I ain't gonna make that much money, so I fucking put that back. Not worth my fucking. Not worth the sweat off my sack. So we uh, come on through uh, this little area here, and look at this film slide photograph uh, scanner. I think they wanted ten bucks for that, but I don't even know what the fuck that is. So I didn't even bother with that. Would you have picked that up? So heaps of telephones, CD players. I tell you what, the fucking uh, thrift stores are stacked at the moment. Absolutely stacked. And there is the troll. The troll follows me fucking everywhere. There's, look at this fucker. There's fucking new with tags as well. That troll was fucking with me. There's a few prams. And um, etch and sketch right there. And uh, didn't work. I tried to play with it and didn't work. I went for all these toys. And it was mainly all babies toys. Cool fucking Dockers Teddy. Uh, mainly all babies toys. So I didn't bother. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh, hit that little bell icon so you know when the uh, show and tell episode is coming up for yourselves. Look at that rocket. Um, but yeah, the toys were disappointing. I was a bit spewing about the toys, but hey, this is just one thrift store. So uh, I grabbed Scooby-Doo for Alice. Alice is going to uh, rip the shit out of um, Scooby-Doo. So I grabbed Scooby-Doo for her. Uh, 50 cents, why not? And another Scooby-Doo I grabbed for her as well. I looked for the children's books, there was nothing there today, but if you can find old colouring books and all that, vintage ones, you are laughing all the way to the bank. Uh, these toys in here, there's another fucking troll mask. Another troll, there's a second troll on you, there was two trolls. Uh, bouncing bubbles, uh, bouncing bubbles new and sealed, but the bastards wrote two dollars on it with fucking sharpie. So I didn't even bother looking it up, because fuck, I hate getting rid of that shit off the boxes. So the clothes... I'll go through the clothes here. I'm not going to show you every single uh, item. And I'm not going to show you the stuff that I did pick up. I'm going to show you the stuff that I didn't grab that might have been worth money. So you guys can tell me if you would have grabbed it or not. But th the clothes were packed in. It was absolutely packed in. Not much room at all. And um, I hate it when you don't have much room to um, look at the clothes. But uh, I, I did enjoy looking through the clothes for the first time now in a couple of months. So that was uh, good fun. Um, now this uh, one coming up here, this Rockstar 
Would you have got that Rockstar? It was $5. Would you have got that Rockstar Energy uh, shirt? Had a few threads. A few threads missing uh, Was I didn't like. Uh, wasn't sure on that one. Would you have grabbed that? Cool uh, Chewbacca shirt there. I should have got that for myself, really, actually. You know, and it was half price. Look at this shit. Fucking all the uh, Doggies fans are getting off the bandwagon. All the Doggies fans getting off the bandwagon. So someone threw their fucking uh, doggy shirt out, uh, jersey out. And uh, they, they didn't want to fucking be a part of the, the, the Footscray Football Club anymore. Fuck them. They fucking got rid of that. I didn't even want to pick it up. It was fake barley shit anyway. Um, and then uh, I found this uh, Italian Italian uh, jersey uh, soccer shirt. Now, should I have grabbed this or not? Um, would have ended up only being two dollars fifty as well, but I didn't know that at the time. It was five bucks. I couldn't find too much on comps uh, for this one, so unfortunately, uh, I didn't grab it. Would you have grabbed it? I could not find anything. I had a look. I had a little look and uh, couldn't find anything. So um, anyway, we go through the red uh, section and looky what I fucking found. I found a Gold Coast Suns. This is an official AFL one too. Uh, an official AFL fucking Reebok one. Um, can't believe it. Could not believe it. Uh, if our bet was still going and it wasn't the uh, clamshell that we're looking for. Uh, and it was the Gold Coast jersey, not a fucking thing. The tag is all faded. And uh, But um, I didn't grab it because uh, there was a big massive thread all the way through it. So And uh, Gold Coast stuff doesn't fucking sell very good. But fuck you, Flipper. I went straight onto to uh, Messenger. Found Flipper there, fucking said fuck you, took a photo of it, and said fucking look what I found. I should have won the fucking, I should have won the fucking comp, shouldn't have been a polo shirt. Right there, telling him it shouldn't have been a fucking polo shirt, fuck you. Gave Flipper a big fuck you there. Uh, these footy shoes, I've actually already got these ones and they haven't sold yet, so I didn't bother grabbing them. Even though they're only fucking five bucks, uh, I didn't grab them. I probably should have, would you have grabbed them? But I've already got them at home, so... Uh, my first pair hasn't sold yet. Heaps of jumpers. I did pick up one uh, NBA jumper. I'll show you that in show and tell because it was a cool jumper. So I don't want to show you it here now. Just show you the stuff I did not grab. But all the jumpers are out. All the winter stuff is out at the moment. So uh, get uh, get some knowledge behind yourself for uh, jumpers because um, and winter clothes because they're out there. They're out there now. And I didn't know too much. Look at that drum. There's a snare drum and a fucking uh, cymbal. Snare drum and cymbal. They only wanted five bucks for that uh, as well. I uh, bypassed it. Look at this little fucking uh, rugby helmet. I didn't pick this up. Has anyone ever sold one of, one of these uh, rugby helmets? It looks like it's a Titans. Uh, I don't follow rugby, so I don't know too much. Found all these CDs for 50 cents each. 50 cents. And I brought a shitload. And they ended up being, with my 50% off, work it out with your maps, 25 cents each. 25 cents. And if I knew they were going to be 25 cents each, I would have brought more. Didn't look up comps. Did not look up comps. Um, I was very confident. If you get heavy metal bands and rock and roll and stuff like Pink Floyd and In Excess, you know you're going to get 10 bucks a pop for them. And if you're paying 25 cents to 50 cents a CD, fucking who gives a shit? Take a punt. Don't stand there and waste your time and scan them all and look them all up. Now, here's one book, Ben Cousins' Life. Uh, ben Cousins' Life, well, we don't need to buy that and read it because we know your life is fucked, mate. You're a fucking tool. So we move on from there. Look at all the suitcases. So many suitcases. I found my best find at the end. I went back to the DVDs and I just saw up on the top there, Risk from 1991. 1991 Risk from Parker Brothers. And uh, I haven't uh, counted all the pieces and all that in there yet, but um, I was stoked to find that. That is such a cool retro game. So that right there, bang, straight in the full trolley. Will someone get me a fucking tissue because I just blew my load. That was fucking wicked. The shelves were absolutely fucking stacked. Absolutely stacked. So much crap. I got a fucking shitload of CDs. I'm happy with all the CDs. Now, the best part was it came to $85, nearly $90. But I didn't even realize that I had my uh, good Sammy's card. And on your 10th visit, you get 50% off your uh, total. I just got 50% off, so it makes life even better. So it came to 42 bucks, something like that. So I should have thrown more shit in. 
if I knew I had that, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. I was in there for an hour and a half, an hour and a half picking, just for one store, and it was chockers. The fucking DVD, everything was chockers. You saw it, you will see it all in that footage that you've already watched, so I don't need to bore you with that. But this week's show and tell is going to be insane. It's going to be insane. Just pulled over because I've got to put this on. I have to put this fucking MC Hammer fucking CD on that I got for 25 cents. 25 cents. Good Sammy's are my absolute fucking favorites. Absolute favorites. This store is my absolute favorite. Uh, Good Sammy's so much better than Salvo's, uh, hands down. But uh, I gotta get myself something to eat, so what do I do? Do I get myself KFC? Do I get myself Hungry Jacks? Do I get myself McDonald's? This is always the dilemma when you have a great, great thrift. A part of me is thinking meat pie, a nice meat pie, but there's no pies around here at the moment. I can't find any pie shops, so, or bakeries. It's Hungry Jacks. I'm getting, the burger's better at Hungry Jacks. I'm getting Hungry Jacks. I'm getting nuggets and a burger. Are they still doing breakfast? No, I'm getting nuggets and a burger. What have they got? The verdict is in. The verdict is in. It's Hungry Jacks. Hungry Jacks for a good fucking thrift, man. Cheers, everyone, for watching. Stay tuned for show and tell. It's going to be a fucking good show and tell. I've got a lot of good stuff here. I've just got to go fucking home now and add it all up and then look at comps and see what uh, shit is worth. But um, don't forget, Sundays, uh, worldwide reselling. Check out all the Australian uh, thrifting uh, shows out there. Check them out and uh, subscribe to them all. The Toolbox crew, shout out to all them. And... Um, Guys, click like, subscribe, or do what the fuck you want. It is your life. I cannot tell you what to do, but uh, a nice little sub is fucking fantastic. Nice little thumbs up is fantastic. But do what the fuck you want. I'm out of here. I'm going to eat this shit. I'm going to listen to MC Hammer. And uh, I'll see you fucking, uh, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. See you.